Renault D range, gearbox control fault. Seen so many of these, it is unreal. Uh, it's an ongoing issue, still not been completely resolved, although there was a technical service bulletin which seems to have eased the issue, but it's still coming back. So we'll plug in, check the fault codes, and I can tell you off the top of my head that'll be MID 130, SID 52, FMI 10. Abnormally large variations on the hydraulic system for the gear selection control. So first thing I do is I go into pressurising under gearbox test, and I check to see what pressure that's pressurising to, and more importantly, how quickly that pressure drops off. As you can see on this one, it does drop off quite quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get underneath, check the quality of the oil, because we've had these where they do go milky, um, like they almost get water in them. And I'm also gonna replace the pressure relief valve, which is just to the right hand side of that reservoir there from the top, nice and easy on this one. You can get the cab up and plenty of access from up top. But if you look in there, you can see that fluid should be dark green and clear. That is milky that has had it. So we need to drain that out. We're gonna end up flushing this. And as you can see there on the end of the level sensor, that does actually look like milk. There is no green left in that at all. And that float also looks like that's stuck in there. So we're gonna change that. So first thing we need to do is depressurize the hydraulic system because these do run at quite high pressure and we will be removing the pressure relief valve. Now I'm just catching a sample of the oil there for this vehicle. It is on contract. So just to cover our backsides, if anyone does want to investigate any further, we have a sample of oil they can take away and have a look at. There you go, look at that. Milkier than a pint of milk on a frosty morning. That is horrendous. Get that changed, get this flushed out. It took me about six times to flush this in the end, so that's about six litres of oil. As you can see there, that oil going in crystal clear with a green tint. So once we've got that back in, we need to reinitialize the gear selector unit on the side of the gearbox. So what this does is purge the system of air um, by operating all the solenoids inside several times under pressure just to release the air from the circuit. Sometimes you have to do this up to three times to get it to take the fault out. And if you listen carefully about now, you should be able to hear it clunking away, working as magic. So that's the oil after the second or third flush now. You can see it's looking a bit better, still milky, still cloudy, still needs to be flushed several more times. But there is a slight improvement to what we had previously or initially. This is the next one. Again, it's a little bit clearer, still a little bit milky. And so you have to be careful as well because obviously purging the system several times does put air into the oil. So it can give off that look that it's milky, but it's not. So there we go, we're just gonna replace the pressure relief valve now, six mil Allen key, pull that out of the top there. In the end, you can see that was all milky as well. So we'll replace that, put a new one in. Hopefully that'll help that hold the pressure a lot better now. Get the last lot of fresh oil in. There you go, you can see in there, it's a bit difficult to see because of the light, but that is, green and clear much better so now i'm just going to pressurize the system again manually just to check and see what's pressurizing up to and how quick the pressure drops off and now this pressure is dropping off a lot slower and a lot steadier than what it was before and it will drop pressure naturally but it's all about how quickly that drops so and the last bit just get rid of the fold codes give it a fresh lease of life if you like before we return the vehicle back to service and jobs are good and hopefully this will be good for a little while before she comes back